black with green, white and red trim. Jamie Richardson in the yellow trunks. Both these guys prolific finishers. Not fans of leaving it in the judges' hands, but look, we've had a few big finishes on our prelims already tonight. And three judges' decisions so far, so let's see if we can break the duck here with this one. Oh, oh nice right hand from Jamie Richardson early. It was a counter off catching the kick. And I was speaking to Jamie earlier, and he was saying that he wanted to finish this one tonight with a submission, so this is going to be interesting here. You know, looks to tie up the head, but finds himself underneath side control here. This is a bad position to try and hold onto the head. You know, a lot of people make this, this mistake. They feel the form underneath the neck. They want to hold onto the guillotine. But when the opponent's on side control like that, all you're doing is giving up one of your defending arms. You know, this is a, a bad position for Jamie Vian right now. He's got to look to try and, this is it, get an underhook. Scoot around outside the back now. Try and, he's going to try and turn this into a takedown attempt here. Botti doing a good job of getting his hips nice and low. That was just a, a little mistake from Richardson to find himself on his back. But if he's not careful, Botti's going to take advantage of it. On the back position now, Jamie has the stand up. He's got to start fighting the hands, getting an underhook under there and start. There we go. Split those hands. Beautiful throw by Botti to get the top position. But he gives up that single leg. And now Jamie fighting back to top position here. Reversal attempt by Botti. Just gritty from both guys here trying to get that top position. Jamie gets back on top here. Immediately, Botti tries to tie up a far side Kimura. Jamie needs to be very, very careful here about where this arm is going. If he finds his arm bent behind his back, he's going to be in a, a spot of bother. You know, it's not a super high percentage finish, especially in MMA, but the hand is behind the back there. And, you know, if he, if he moves his body to try and escape here, this is exactly what I was about to say. He ends up losing the position now from here. The finish rate is much, much higher. He uses it to try and pull that leg out of half guard and give just a little bit too much space. Finds himself defending a single leg takedown from Richardson again. Richardson, of course, finding out of force MMA and has Jack Mason of BKK fighters in his corner as well. A storied cage warriors veteran himself. Just a super scrappy grappling match to begin this fight. Both of these guys fighting for top position. Botti now on the takedown. He's got a lot of power here. We saw that early with the throw, and he picks Jamie up and brings him back to the ground immediately in the side control. You see that left arm of Jamie over the top there? He's got to get that on the inside. He's got to use that to frame against the neck, to frame against the hips, to get the leg back on the inside there. And he's got to be careful if that arm stays high. You know, if the left arm of Botti comes to the other side of the head like this, then we could see a possible head and arm choke being set up. There we go, much better positioning from Richardson here. He needs what I call this two-pillar position here. He wants to use this to create some space by the hips. Another Kimura attempt, a much stronger position from side control here. He wrenches this arm away. Jamie needs to be careful. If this arm moves away from the body, he doesn't want to keep it bent. He actually wants to fully extend the arm. Botti now trying to move his hips into a position where he can generate more force. Trying to step over the head here. If he can get to this position and strip this grip, this is a strong position for Okamura. It's behind the back. This is strong. Jamie, look at the tap here. This is close. He's thinking about it. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. That was so close. This is a much better position to defend from now. You see how that arm starts to straighten. Wow. Jamie was a millisecond away from tapping there. You could see the grimace on his face. And just as he was thinking about doing it, the angle just lost a little bit. So, so close. Rich Mitchell, a very experienced grappler himself. He could see exactly what you saw down, and he was seconds away from stepping in to save Richardson's arm from breaking. But Richardson now in the ascendancy here. Wow, that was so close. Beautiful Kimura attempt. That's a couple of times he tried to utilize the position. And Richardson just a little bit slow on defending there and finds himself very, very close to a fight ending tap. You know, Botti still aggressively hunting another takedown. What a crazy grappling, you know, loads of grappling exchanges in this first round. And this is the oh, huge throw right. kick from Jamie Richardson there. Catching Botti right on the chin. And then there's a good chance Richardson's going to try and stand up instead of taking this fight back to the ground now. Yeah, it's one thing to say you want to come out and get a submission win, but when you've got the power in your hands that Richardson has, He'd be foolish not to use them. Richardson looking to get some big shots going here. Botti looks tired. 
I think he put everything into that Kimura. You know, this can happen when you get, when you get a, you know, you get a position and you really put everything into it and you can feel your opponents about to give up and you don't think they can escape. You put all of your energy and you get this adrenaline rush like you're just about the end of fight and then it doesn't happen. That can really take a lot out of you, both physically and also emotionally and psychologically. Well, there was the kick catch and the nice straight right hand from Jamie Richardson there. And a big takedown. Richardson, look careful posting with the arm on that curling takedown. We've seen some nasty injuries and stuff like that before. But Bossy really went to work here. Yeah, and here's the Kimura attempt. This was the end of the Kimura attempt. You know, the setup was beautiful. He, he, he tied it up on the far side. He stepped over. He got the hand into the position. And it was so unbelievably close to being a fight ending submission there. And as he sits backwards, Jamie just able to get his arm straight and then pull it out there. This is going to be really interesting. And while you were looking at the replays there, Jamie Richardson was jumping up and down on the spot in his corner pounding his fist together, ready to get back out and stick it to Botti. Yeah, I think he has a feeling he can see that Botti's starting to fatigue, you know, a couple of huge high-energy takedowns from Botti in that first round. Another thing that could have contributed to a bit of fatigue, possibly. Those arms are dropping and Botti's wide open for the right hand of Jamie Richardson. against the fence and this is not where Botti wants to be and as you say Dan looking tired you know, we've seen the Richardson can go continuously he is not going to get tired he needs to be careful rushing in but he's definitely looking the fresher more aggressive fighter right now Richardson's actually dropped back down to welterweight for this one looking in incredible shape probably the best shape we've seen him in at welterweight walking around with his hands down. Surprised we haven't seen him shoot a takedown. As I say that, he makes an attempt, but it's very, very half-hearted. I think he is extremely fatigued right now. Richardson's opening up here. He's going to be careful with the counters, but Botti just covering up. Richardson letting rip with those big bombs. Botti firing back. He's got to fire back. He's got to do something. He can't just stand with his fence against the his back against the fence and absorb these shots. A few massive right hands just missing from Richardson. Imagine if those had landed. Well, a few of them did land to the body, and that's going to take it out of Alessandro Botti here. Oh, oh, big body shot. Botti firing back, but Richardson able to step out of range. And Richardson really teeing up. Oh, he's there. tired. Alessandro Botti is not wearing these shots well. There's the shot. It wasn't set up, but it's powerful. Botti's got so much strength in these wrestling exchanges. We've seen already tying up the guillotine. The elbow is high. This position's strong. It's very strong. There we go. There's the submission. He said he wanted a shot. He got one. The young gun, Jamie Richardson, is back. Beautiful guillotine finish there. Jamie is someone that I have trained in the past, and it, you know, I don't want to take credit for that guillotine finish, but it's definitely something we may have worked on um, way back when we used to train together, and just beautifully done, you know. He took it to the ground, and he wanted to grapple in that first round. There you go, well done, mate. Um, in that first round, he wanted to grapple, but Botti really was getting the, the, the better of those exchanges on the ground. That second round, he could see that at the end of the first round, Botti really started to fatigue and turned it on. Botti was so tired. He shot out of desperation and he really had nothing left to try and defend that beautiful guillotine. And credit to Alessandro Botti for surviving some of these big punches. Yeah. But they really did wear him out. We're going to see this shot in a second. You know, he is so, so tired. There we go, and look how high that elbow goes. When that elbow goes that high, it's impossible to stop the wrist coming through the neck, and the submission is on so fast. 
Beautiful submission from the young gun. That's great to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, calls a stop to this contest after two minutes and 29 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of guillotine choke in the red corner, Jamie Young Gun Richardson. A huge comeback victory for Jamie Young Gun Richardson. Caps off our prelim 